Hi everyone, it's Renee Yvonne with CompoundPharmacyMarketing.com and today is Wonderful Wednesday. Wonderful Wednesday is the day when I give you one marketing tip to help you grow your compound pharmacy. And today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about hiring a marketer. This is a question that comes up quite frequently for me. I get a lot of emails and calls about this. People who are considering hiring someone to go out and market for their pharmacy, but they're not exactly sure what to look for, who to hire, or how to interview them, what questions you should ask. So today I'm going to talk about the interview questions. I'm going to cover some of the other ones in uh, subsequent Wonderful Wednesdays. But this one I want to cover today because sometimes you found someone now it's time for the interview process and you're a little bit unsure what questions to ask this person that would best suit your pharmacy. So I'm going to start with a couple of them that you should be asking. One is, tell me about yourself, okay? This question is a difficult one for many people to answer, even just on a date. It's a hard question to answer because you're not exactly sure where you should start. You don't want to start from, well, I was born and you know, a small shack in Virginia, <laughs> but somewhere along the line, you need to get to what is the point. What you're looking for in this question is to for them to tell you how they would fit into your organization, things that they've done in the past, in their previous jobs or volunteer experiences that would help you determine if they are a good fit for your company. So that's what you're looking for when you ask that question. The second question that I think is a good one to ask is, how would you handle being rejected at a doctor's office? Or how do you handle rejection in general? This is a tough question for a lot of people because a lot of people may think, well, I don't ever get rejected. Or to answer that question honestly might mean, well, you know, I go and, you know, drink some Jack Daniels. <laughs> that might be how they really want to answer the question. But you want to find out in this question, how do they handle it? Is this a motivator for them? Does this depress them? Will this be something that they say, you know, it's hard for me to get rejected, but what I do is I try to find a positive? Or do they think, you know, there really isn't anything such as being rejected. It's the, the, maybe that the person just isn't ready to hear what I have to say. So how do they handle rejection is a great question to ask just to see what type of person you're dealing with because they will get rejected at the doctor's office. Another good question to ask, and many of us are experiencing this, doctors aren't seeing drug reps as much anymore. How will that person deal with an office that will not see drug reps? What will be their workaround solution to that? Because they are bound to come up against it. You want to see if they're creative. You want to see if they have a solution. You want to see if they'll just walk away and say, well, they don't see drug reps. I'm going to go to lunch now. You want to find out how are they going to handle that situation. Last but not least, you want to find out what some of their personal goals are. How do their personal goals fit in with your pharmacy? Do they want to go back to school? Do they want to become a pharmacist or a farm tech at some point? Are they planning to open their own business? Is this something they're doing just in the interim to help bring money into the family? You want to find out a little bit about their personal goals and just see how do they fit in? Will they be here for the long haul or are they here temporarily? Last but not least, what motivates them? Is it money? Is it recognition? Is it awards? What is it that gets them excited and getting out the door? Because that's going to be how you want to reward that person. Everyone, surprisingly, is not motivated by money. I know that shocks me too. But <laughs> some people are motivated by the recognition of just saying, you did a great job. And that can save you money. Maybe some people are rewarded by the gifts that you give. Maybe you can find a great gift to give them and just say, you know what? I think you're doing awesome out there. So how are they motivated? How do they want to be rewarded is another great question to find out how you can say to them, thank you for your work or to get them out the door. Something that says, you know, hey, I'm enjoying this job. I'm getting out here because I know I'm going to get a cash bonus or I know that I'm going to win that award, that trip to Hawaii, whatever it is that motivates them, their big why as to why they're doing this every day. Now, if you like these questions and you like to get a list of them with the explanations again, I am going to put that on my website for you to download. And it's going to be under free stuff. 
It'll be there Friday. It's not there right now, so you can't go there, but it will be there by Friday. I'm going to upload it so that you can go back there and I'll send out a reminder to say, hey, you can go download this and get these questions that you can ask during the interview. The interview process is a time for you to get to know that person better, and it's a time to figure out if they're a good fit for your team. So I hope you enjoyed this tip, and I'll be back in subsequent Wonderful Wednesdays to talk about what to look for in a marketer and what who you should be hiring, who should you be considering for the position, and why do you even want to do it? Maybe you can do it yourself. So those are some things we're going to talk about in subsequent Wonderful Wednesdays. In the meantime, I'm Renee Yvonne with CompoundPharmacyMarketing.com, wishing you a wonderful Wednesday. Bye.